welcome. My name is uh, Martin Redostrade. I'm a professor of endocrinology here at the Lund University Diabetes Center. And I also have the good fortune of being head of the Department of Endocrinology at Skåne University Hospital in Malmö and Lund in the south of Sweden. Um, we're here to talk about our uh, latest publication in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. And word by word, uh, it is called the differential gene expression in, in adipose tissue from obese human subjects during weight loss and weight maintenance. We all know that it's uh, dangerous to become uh, obese, and I think most of us have realized that it is beneficial to lose weight and to, to uh, stay in a weight-reduced uh, state. But we don't know exactly how that is, uh, what mechanisms uh, are behind that. So that's what we tried to address in this study. And uh, what was the most important res results? I think the results come in two. Uh, first, the realization that if you want to study the beneficial effects of weight loss, you need to wait until uh, people are uh, keeping their weight off, being in a weight maintenance phase. So that's from a scientific point of view, it's very important uh, to realize because if you go in too early, you will on only study the process of weight loss, uh, which is interesting, but uh, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the beneficial effects of weight maintenance after weight loss. And the other side of the results is a long list of genes that are regulated uh, through these different processes that are candidates for the beneficial uh, effects of weight loss. And why is it important to know about these genes? The quick answer would be uh, that we want to tell you uh, or to be able to tell you and ourselves whether you're going to benefit from weight loss or not or how much you're going to benefit because um, if, if you don't, perhaps we need other measures to, uh, to decrease uh, the risk of you being uh, obese. What additional research needs to be done? In the next area? step from a list of candidates uh, would be to address those top candidates from a functional uh, perspective. Uh, and in our case, it, it would be to go uh, for the genes uh, which are related to the reverse uh, cholesterol transfer orchestrated uh, by the functionality of the HDL cholesterol uh, system. We found particularly two genes that are interested, uh, 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 the CETP gene and the ABCG1 gene. Okay, thank you.